everyone. I'm Bun Bison, the Mighty Buffalo. Well, that's what they call me. Check those comic strips out. That's me. And look at those sketches. You see the hand of the cartoonist? That's Mr. Ronald A.G. Grant. You see how he sketches me out? Got me drawing out pretty cool. But notice that he exaggerates on my expressions. It helps to bring the dialogue to life. <laughs> Very funny. That's what it says on the dialogue. I'm kind of in an irritable mood. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hey, guys, and check this scene out. Hey, once Ron actually sketches me out with his non-photo blue pencil, he actually uses a Windsor Newton Sable brush. That's his favorite. Every cartoonist has had their own preference, but that's his. Hey, you notice that the lines are kind of like faded like? Well, that's the non-photo blue pencil. And he actually uses his brush right on top of it. He draws G there very carefully. The harder he pushed down the thick of the lines, the further he pulled away from the paper. <laughs> the lines are thin. That's pretty unique. He draws pretty well. He's been drawing ever since third grade. Oh, and check this scene now. He uses the T-square to make the panels nice and straight. It makes us look like we're inside of television. Animated. Still shots. Oh, hey, see, you see the non photo blue pencil sketches like it's still there? But once he's done with that, he scans me into the copier, and once he prints me out, you don't see those photo blue pencil sketches lines. It's pretty unique, huh? Oh, I remember those characters. But anyway, to each his own, for cartoonists, what they preference, what they like to use. Even you. Hey, kid, pay attention. I'm talking. <clears throat> uh, anyway, hey, you see how he thin out the brushes? So he can get the ink just right. Now he's going on my eyes. And then he goes on my eyebrow. Mm-hmm. Yeah, see there? Come on, Ron, speed it up, buddy. Oh, okay. See there? Now, that makes me look pretty good, huh? I like that. Oh, yeah. So anyway, when Ron, once Ron done um, sketching and all that stuff like that, he inks right over the knob for the blue lines. It looks kind of faded, though, but to him, he can see it very, very clearly. He wears glasses. <laughs> hey, check this scene now. Now, this goes. This is called the header. Like, for the Sané page, he put that right on top, and then he puts the panels and things like that on the bottom. Oh, you see that prairie dog? That's Winston. That's my best friend. But actually, that's my baby. I love him. He loves me. Buffaloes and prairie dogs always hang out. Oh, give me a home where the buffaloes roam, where the deers and lantelopes play. <laughs> oh, that's okay. I don't get paid for singing. Oh, and check this out. Like I said, once Ron is done sketching me out and drawing me, he scans me right inside the computer. And then once that's done, he puts me in color. You know, folks, color is a beautiful thing. Hey, check it out. It brings the comic strips to life. It sets the mood of the comic strips. And the tone, too. Check this turtle out. No, go back to your own kind. The giraffe? Go back to your own kind! Shut up, bud. No, go back to your own kind. Check this buzzard out. You go back to your own kind. No, go back to your own kind. <laughs> Very funny. <laughs> That's what a complete comic strip looks like. Sketched out, inked, paneled, and drawn out. It's getting to the computer. Now Ron's done. And then he prints me out. Pretty good, huh? Well, I encourage you boys and girls, big girls, little kids, big men, small men, whatever you are, draw away. Enjoy drawing. Your expression comes out through the comic strips. After all, you are funny looking. <laughs> well, take care, folks. See you later on Drawing Tube.